Hello guys, it's next week and uh, it's time to show you my progress with the uh, U-boot submarine for the board game. Uh, so first of all, I uh, remake almost all the parts and uh, this is a from the submarine. There is a lot of changes, more detail added, added and also uh, this hydroplanes is working as this desired. Just put in the submarine like Lego. It's very easy. And uh, you can glue it inside, but I do not recommend it because uh, when you store the uh, submarine into the into the box, you can remove it so they won't broke. So this is the update for the front part of submarine. New details. I also uh, make this uh, more similar to original uh, boot. 7th B and C models and I also changed the front of the stand of submarine this is the first part okay the second part of submarine a lot of changes you can see a new torpedo tubes There is also a radio room. The stop of that part. The hole now corresponds to the uh, miniatures you get with the submarine models. It's five millimeter, or actually five point ten. A millimeter it snaps to the bottom part and next part is the kitchen I also reworked that one you can see some cans cans here Pens, toilet, also some motors rooms, boiler room, and control room of submarine. These are quarters, you can see there is some pillows, a book, some boxes underneath the beds, and so on. And also redesigned the lamp, it looks like a lamp right now. Much better than the previous model. So there's a second part. Also, let's view at top. So now I decide to remove the cone tower from the top. So it's printed separately. Like that, it will be magnetized and using magnets to, to connect to the uh, top part of the submarine so I decided to do that because it's e uh, much easier to print uh, separate parts separately and if something happens and uh, yeah, I can print just, just this part again now this periscope are 3 millimeters wide it's uh, much durable but I need to check it out better also, uh, there is some redesigning on this part. I checked the photos of actual submarines and uh, make the cone tower more similar. There should be a railing, but I, I decide not to build it because you need to put uh, an anti eye gun here. Again, a 5.1 millimeter uh, hole, so it should uh, fit there perfectly. So that's for the Second part top, it snaps, set by the magnets, and put it here. And uh, aft torpedoes, 
again uh, redesign the reboot a lot of tubes here you can see and I didn't finish the uh, top part of this yet but uh, is already uh, modeled and uh, will be printing tomorrow so you can see that actually only the first part is uh, somehow shorter than actually on the mat it's about 1.5 centimeters uh, shorter but all other parts are aligned perfectly as you can see I need to move it So you have almost all, except the last part again. Oops, is that the last part? Because I need to uh, print uh, some part together. I do not wish, do not want to split them uh, so much. So that's how how it will looks when you have it on the on the play mat. And uh, regarding submarine, so I had a uh, weird idea to put uh, one Easter egg here. So you will see it maybe in next uh, next uh, videos on when you buy the submarine and uh, and uh, trying to find what Easter egg is. I believe uh, I believe that you will find it almost almost immediately, but you will never sure if you find all all of Easter eggs parts so again I will show you some uh, details and uh, my plan is to finish the submarine uh, in next one maximum two weeks should be completed so all of these parts you, you can consider as they, they are final which actually uh, I'm presenting right now and the uh, next few parts which are missing is top of the art torpedo part and uh, the back of the submarine with the propellers and so on that's uh, I'm working on right now I made uh, a lot of changes from previous uh, submarine models so you can see there is absolutely no stringing on this part like it was uh, lately so it's pretty uh, nice when I print, print them Everything is aligned and uh, printing correctly now. And with the uh, new printer, if I somehow get to get to that, uh, should be much more beautiful. Some of you uh, notice that the ra railing are not uh, as they are supposed to be as they are on the uh, real uh, submarine. That's because I need to uh, have some some uh, bridging here, so printer cannot cannot print in less than one centimeter between two points. So I need to make a centimeters railing pipes here, and then I can print the top of the top of the railing again in the in the top of so uh, usually they should be uh, skipped each each second pipe but uh, I, I cannot print the railings like that so they are more denser denser now but I, I, I don't think that is actually uh, some uh, mistake and so on it's just limitation of the 3d printing and the final part you can see the 
basics for this uh, or models for this was the actual uh, dividers from the game the paper dividers I used them as basis for the for the printing so they should look very similar very similar to that that's all I wanted to show you Lango submarine is uh, about more than 80, 80 centimeters right now and uh, it will reach to 90 centimeters when it will be completed uh, so uh, next video I am planning to publish uh, as usual once per week so next week and uh, I hope you like my uh, work and uh, see you on my next video if you have any questions or any ideas or any uh, uh, improvements I should implement uh, just contact me through the, uh, through the YouTube uh, write me or, or on the board game geek and so on so I will listen to you guys and uh, will uh, probably make the improvements so thank you for watching and see ya next week bye bye